Hello everyone, welcome to the AAEN Fabrication Shop. Today we're going to be looking at the Olympus Flying Model Rocket Kit. Uh, this is a payload model, it's about 29, a little over 29 inches long, uh, about 1.8 inches in diameter. Uh, so it makes a decent sized rocket. Um, this one is available only through Hobby Lobby and it runs about $15 at least when we picked our kit up. Uh, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to go ahead and look at what's in the kit. We've already opened the top of it. So as you can see we have our body tube. We have a small package of parts here that include the shock cord. You can see the parachute there in the background. We have the engine retainer. This is a spacer for when you use the smaller size solid rocket motors and then a motor ring, retaining ring. Here we have the centering rings for the motor mount. This is our nose cone. This will be cut here at this indentation with our clear payload tube going between the two pieces. This will be what our recovery system attaches to. Let's see. A nice set of decals for this model. Set those over there. This will be our motor mount and this is our spacer. Don't throw this away. This is what we're going to use to make sure that we put this green ring at the right depth for our model. We also have the clear payload section. We have our fins. These are all laser cut and as you can see we've already had one fall out. Um, wood looks to be in good shape. Doesn't look like a lot of warping. Decent grain on this one. And then the last thing that's in here is the instruction sheet. Now before we begin uh, what I will be doing off camera and I recommend this to everybody who does model rocket work at the very least make a copy of this. Um, if you look at this instruction sheet you'll see that the shock cord mount is cut out of the instruction sheet. You'll also see the two marking guide is cut out of the instruction sheet. And just to make it easier, we find that by making a photocopy of that, we can cut out the photocopy and keep our instruction sheet all intact. The other thing that I will do is I will scan this into a computer. I've got uh, a flatbed scanner, uh, part of my printer, and probably most of you have a similar arrangement. We'll go ahead and not only scan the instruction sheet, but we'll also scan the centering rings, the decals, and the fins. So that way if we need to make extra pieces, um, we can do that. If we want to make a clone of this later on down the road, we can do that. Now when you do go to make your scan, one of the things that I would highly recommend is to get a, a, a just a little six inch ruler, six, seven inch ruler, and lay it next to the object that you're scanning. And this way you can make sure when you print the patterns out at a later date, you know you have the right size because you can measure you can measure how big the ruler is on the paper. And if it's too big or too small, you can adjust the size accordingly when you print out. 
So this is what our kit looks like. It is a typical Estes kit. Um, in our next episode, we will go ahead and begin uh, following the instructions on building our Olympus. So until next time, take care.